it's recording right now. Oh, great. I, oh, I, I didn't remember. I'm sorry. I just needed to go straight. I'm sorry. I did it. So uh, this session will also be sent to uh we will send to us so that we can rewatch this this uh, uh, session again. So, what is protocol? What is protocol? And whenever I talk about protocol, I I normally refer to COVID nineteen. I normally refer to COVID nineteen. That if you haven't heard the word protocol before, then COVID nineteen should have given us an idea of what protocol is. How many of us? And no COVID-19 protocols. I mean, if us know the COVID-19 protocols, you know, just just don't wave your hand. Let me let, let me be sure you know COVID-19 protocols. <laughs> when COVID-19 struck, the entire world was shut down. When COVID-19 struck, the entire world was shut down. Everybody, everybody was asked to stay indoors, all right? In order for us, in order for you and I not to get infected, not to contract the virus and then spread it because its spread is not something that you can even see. Once someone that is infected touches an object and droplets are there and you go there and touch, even without knowing, you will contract the virus and then you begin to spread. You begin to spread. And so the WHO came up with protocols. And what is the protocol they came up with? The protocol they came up with was meant to guide us to do things, certain ways, you know, that will enable us prevent the spread of the virus. So the protocol says, when you sneeze, you make use of your elbow this way, is it not? When you, are we there? So when you sneeze, you make this way. And we are told to wash our hands regularly with running soap and water and to use sanitizers. You know, th there are many protocols that they mentioned during that. And then uh, one of the, uh, uh, the, the, the one that led us to always use these platforms we are making use of right now is social distancing. So people couldn't meet anymore physically. You were advised to, 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 to be distanced at some point. Now, all of those rules, guides, processes and procedures in order for us to prevent the spread of coronavirus is what is called protocol. That is a health protocol. That is the COVID-19 protocol. In all of this, what do we now say? We now say protocol is an established form, in a, an established way of behavior or of doing things in a particular setting or a particular environment. Protocol is about doing things in a particular way, in a particular environment, and in a particular situation. So once you are not observing the protocol of COVID-19, you are more likely to spread the virus or even get the virus. So the, the, the rules, the guidelines are to ensure that things are done orderly and properly for us to have the best outcome. 
And so for those who followed the COVID-19 protocol, they were able to prevent themselves from contracting the virus. In other words, if you find yourself in, an, in a particular environment, there is an established way of doing things. Once you don't follow the established pattern of doing things, then you are going against the protocol. You are going against the order. The world was created in an orderly fashion. Nothing just happened without something happening. Everything was created, and that is why the world is in order right now. The firmament has its place. The skies have its place. The earth has its place. The trees, the forests, the rivers, they all have their places. So protocol has been in existence right from the time of creation. If there was no need for order to be in a particular place, things would have been done haphazardly. And so we will be seeing an intersection between forests and rivers, rivers and grasslands and deserts. Whatever you see man doing to reclaim land, it's just because of the knowledge he has got on how to do that. But you see, everything was created, was kept in its place so that the world will operate in order. So, in other words, protocol brings order. Protocol is order. Protocol is order. Protocol is courtesy. Protocol is respect. Protocol is an established way of behavior in a particular environment. It's an established way of doing things in a particular environment. So no two environments have the same protocol. If you recall in the live video, I said, yes, no two environments have the same protocol of doing things, but you see the foundation must be set and the foundation is understanding that there is need for order to be in, in, in certain environments. So in the business world, there is protocol. In the government world, there is protocol where you talk about international relations, diplomacy and all the rest. In the health sector, there are protocols. In the aviation industry, there are protocols. In the university systems, there are protocols. Of course, uh, talking about uh, uh, Boris Johnson, he was because, <laughs> because he broke protocols, he broke the rules, all right? <laughs> so in every institution of the world, there is need for protocol. But because they, because they don't understand it, uh, they just keep it aside. So at the end of this session, we will see different soldiers, different armies leaving this mentorship session, going into different industries and begin to shine the protocol lights. <laughs> So if you're in the business industry, you go in there and shine the protocol light. If you are in the entertainment industry, you go in there and shine the protocol light. If you are in the church industry, you go in there and shine the protocol light. If you are in the aviation sector, you go in there and shine the protocol light. We want to spread the gospel of protocol, like I said in the video. But let us be armed and equipped first before we go out there so we know what we are doing. Is somebody getting me? <laughs> Is somebody getting me? Okay, so that, that's 
that's thank you very much about relationship management as personal business and international relations level. All right, that, that's going even further. All right, so when we now go further, we now begin to ask ourselves, why do why do we need this protocol? Like maybe rightly mentioned, it's about building relationships. I used to tell my team whenever I teach them that when you find yourself as a protocol officer, as an executive assistant, as a special assistant, as anyone who is who serves as an interface between you and the next person within you and your organization, you are an image maker. You are an image maker. You make image. You make image. So what image do you represent? Is it the image of arrogance? Is it the image of disrespect? Is it the image of dishonor? Is it the, the image of, I, I, I just can't be with this person. What image do you, do you show? Because of the image you show, positive or negative, it will affect the kind of relationship you have. Mind you, protocol is about service. Protocol is about service. Protocol is not about me. It's not about you. It's about service. So how do you serve? How do you serve your principal? How do you serve his visitor? How do you serve his guests? How do you serve his clients? How do you serve his customers? How do you serve those who they are in business relationships with? How do you serve your pastor? How do you serve whoever you are serving? How do you relate? Protocol is about service. Protocol is about respect. Protocol is about honor. Are we here? So protocol is not just about you. It's important to know that it is about people. It's about building relationships. It's about connecting people. It's about bridging the gap between you, your principal, and his business counterparts, his foreign relation friends. You know, it, it, it's about you are the one to bridge that gap. The protocol officer is likely to be the first person that meets the visitor, that meets the guest. It's likely, most likely. And that is why I will always tell my team, we are in the industry of impression. I talked about image. We're in the industry of impression. What image, what impression? In fact, it will shock you to know that in protocol, you don't have second impression. In protocol, you don't have second impression. You have only one and last impression. So whatever you do as protocol officer, you should understand that you play a pivotal role in the building of relationships between organizations, between customers, between people, is that okay? Okay, so let, 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 me, let me share uh, a few notes I have with us here. Let me share a few notes. Let me share. Let me share. Um, okay, let me share. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen and then let's go. Let's, uh, okay. Mm. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. What's going to come? Okay. Let me just share this with us and then uh, let's see some of the functions of our, 
the functions of the protocol officer. Uh, let's say the functions of the protocol officer, and then uh, we we go from there. Let's see the functions of the protocol officer. Uh, that's not happening. That is not happening. Okay. Let's see some of the functions of the protocol officer. Okay. Let's see. Okay. May not be able to share that, but then. Can you still see me? Let me know you're with me here. Let me know you're with me. Okay, let me know you're with me. Okay, so yes. can you can you still see me? You can still see me. No. Can you still see me? No. Okay, just hold on a little bit. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to share my screen. My screen is not allowing me to share. My screen is not allowing me to share. All right. Mm. I just want to share with us some of the functions of the protocol officer so we'll have an idea of uh, what we're talking about. Okay. Uh... Okay, it's, it's not going through. It's not going through, but commit me to, to go off my, my video to be able to read some of those functions for us. Hope that is uh, taken. You pardon me for that. Hope you pardon me for that. I'm not making use of my my laptop. Uh, just pardon me to make use of my screen from my phone because it can't allow me share my documents I want to for the moment. But then let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So we we we, we have given us uh, 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 some some deep foundations about protocol. We wouldn't want, want to, I wouldn't want to go into the, uh, the history, um, the very beginnings of protocol. I want to believe we have that basic understanding and it will take a lot of our time, All right? So let us take a look at the functions of uh, the protocol officers, of the protocol officer. What does he really do? We, we've talked about protocol as a way of doing things. It is, it, it is a guide on how we do things in a particular environment. When we also go deeper into this, we, we will go further by saying that the way of doing things in a particular situation, or in a particular event, or in a particular context, or in a particular setting, sometimes have to be agreed upon by the parties involved in such, in such a, a gathering, all right? But then let's take a look at some of the responsibilities of a protocol officer. One of, in fact, the primary responsibility of the protocol officer, the primary responsibility of the protocol officer is to coordinate and implement programs for local and international visits. The, the protocol officer primary responsibility is to coordinate and implement programs for local and international visits. He ensures that programs are well planned, are orchestrated in the best of ways for their principles to conduct business effectively. The protocol Officer's primary responsibility is to coordinate and implement programs for local and international visits, ensuring safe and well planned programs for their principals or for the principal to conduct business effectively. Do you get that point? 
Do you get that point? For the principals to conduct business effectively, they plan and, and orchestrate events. They ensure a well-tailored event. And at the end of the day, is expected that the business of the day is carried out. They execute international visits. They execute local visits. So if, for example, you have a visitor coming to see your principal, it is the protocol officer or the protocol team that is responsible for planning and coordinating such visits. So a lot of things are involved in um, coordinating the visits. There is another uh, model that we will do in this session, not in this session, but in this uh, mentorship period, where we will talk about planning a visit. It, it's a topic on its own. And there we will go into the details and intricacies of planning a visit, what is expected in that visit. But then the primary responsibility of the protocol officer is to ensure the coordination of programs, international visits, local visits. So wherever you serve, business-wise, church-wise, and the military-wise, anywhere, when events are coming up, it is the protocol officers that plan the event. So sometimes you could call the protocol officers event planners. However, their event planning goes beyond the normal event planning because this time around, they deal with high powered delegates. They deal with business relationships. They deal with people who are of high class. They deal with very important personalities. They deal with people who have business relationship with your principal. So everything that has to do with the business of the day to be conducted safely and ensuring that both parties are happy at the end of the day, the protocol officer does that. So that is his primary responsibility. So if you have been a protocol officer and your role does not fall, you have not been doing something like this, then it means you, you just carrying the protocol regalia and uh, doing something else, <laughs> like you're putting on a camouflage. So you're just saying I'm a protocol officer, but your functions are outside beyond this. I'm not saying as a protocol officer, you can do other things, but there's a place for your core responsibility. The planning, orchestrating and coordinating of both local and international visits, events, events to be attended by very important personalities. And inside that visit will now include things like route planning, site selection, and a number of things you now also consider concepts like order of precedence in your, in, in your plan. Let me go further by um, also sharing with us, also sharing with us uh, other, uh, let me share with us five general aspects, five general areas, mm -hmm. five general areas that the protocol officer functions five general areas the protocol officer functions. The protocol officer, you, 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 of course, I, I want to believe that you are, you are writing. I want to believe that you are writing. Right? <clears throat> the five general areas the protocol officer uh, is, is responsible for. Number one, he provides respectful and cautious treatments. He provides respectful and cautious treatments. In other words, he treats or they treat all participants with respect and courtesy, providing respectful and cautious treatments. How do you treat your, 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 your guests? How do, we, do you treat the people that come to see your boss, that comes to see your principal? 
Do you provide, do you show respect and cautious treatment? Do you show them honor? Or do you treat some persons some way and treat some persons the other way? The second area is that the ensure precedence is adhered to. The ensure precedence is adhered to. What, when we talk about precedence, what are we talking about? When we talk about precedence, what are we talking about? We are saying, ensuring that people, high-ranking officials or, or, or people are accorded respect based on their rankings. When we're talking about precedence, we are saying how you place people based on their ranking, how you honor people based on their ranking. That is precedence. So the protocol officer ensures that there is a strict adherence to the order of precedence. So for example, the CEO of ABC company is visiting, uh, uh, is visiting uh, uh, Victor. And uh, Victor is, this, uh, is the CEO of another company. Uh, let's say BYC company. Before that visit, the protocol team of Mr. Victor will rehearse and speak with the other team of the CEO coming. And they will begin to know what is the ranking of delegates in that team that is coming to visit Mr. Victor. So is the CEO visiting or the CEO is sending a representative to visit or is sending a delegation of five persons with the COO, with the CFO, with the general manager admin, and all the rest of them. Now, once the list of precedents have been sent, when they arrive, it is the place of Mr. Victor's protocol team to ensure that precedence is given, the precedence is adhered to, so if, for example, the COO is higher than the CFO, Mr. Victor's team will not recognize someone lower than the other. Just hold on a little bit. Hold on a little bit. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Sincere apologies. So when, when the team is visiting and we have seen the list, what other of precedence is saying is, I am bringing, I am respecting the highest in authority in that delegation. So if there is the highest person, I give that respect to the person followed by the next, followed by the next, followed by the next. Do you get what I'm saying? That is adherence of precedence. When the team goes and does otherwise, that is this going to be disrespectful, all right? So the protocol officer ensures that adherence is, uh, order of precedence is, ad is adhered to. We will also talk about that in our order of precedence class as we move forward in this, uh, in this, uh, um, a session that is another session we'll talk about uh, fully also let's take a look at another function of the protocol officer the protocol officer arranges the environment for negotiation he creates a suitable environment for negotiation he creates a suitable environment for negotiation the protocol officer creates a suitable environment for, for, for uh, negotiation. I don't know if you, you have known about this. Now, uh, you, you, you now see how diverse the role of protocol officers are. 
that is another class in itself. <laughs> that is another class in itself. But then just know that the protocol officer sets the tone, sets the environment, the table and the sitting arrangement where each party is to sit, which is the host party, which is the signing party, which is the home country, uh, which is the, is, is the guest country, where they are to sit, where they are to position themselves. All right. So he creates that environment for negotiations to take place. Which of the organizations or which of the countries has the negotiating power where they are to sit and the other one that has less negotiating power where they are to sit, where the delegates are to sit as well. So the protocol officer provides such environments, creates such environments for uh, negotiation. And also they arrange signing ceremonies for treaties. They arrange signing ceremonies for treaties. That is also uh, close to the next one. All right, then the fifth one is that what they do is they arrange social and cultural events. They plan social and cultural events to enhance diplomatic relations. One of the skills a protocol officer should possess is the skill of cultural awareness or cultural intelligence. The protocol officers plan cultural events. And the essence of these cultural events is to ensure that diplomatic relations are maintained. All right? Is to ensure that diplomatic relations are maintained. I'm sure you must have seen uh, when uh, foreign uh, presidents visit a particular country, and sometimes you see uh the cultural maybe group or uh, or set of persons are part of the welcoming party at the airport or at the train station or anywhere that the guest is being received for example in nigeria also we are a very highly cultural people and we have three major tribes the hausa the Yoruba and the Igbo, all right? So when a president is visiting, when a traditional ruler is visiting, it depends on the occasion, right? It depends on the occasion. The protocol team can decide to say, in order for us to show our cultural heritage and share with the visitor and show you how welcoming we are, the protocol team can decide to say, okay, this set of persons, please go and be part of the welcome team. And when the president or whoever arrives, you see the cultural display, the rich cultural value of those people saying, welcome to the visiting guests. So it is the protocol officers that arrange such. And of course, the reason it is to ensure that there are diplomatic ties, these diplomatic relationships continue, all right? That's one of the functions, all right. Okay, let's take a look at key areas. Uh, it's key areas protocol officers handle. They handle the hosting of special events and socials. Of course, uh, organizing cocktail events, banquets, dinners, lunches, and even cultural visits. We're talking about that one. I've talked about that. Of course, uh, we we'll talk about uh, the orchestrate meetings and conferences. The orchestrate meetings and conferences, managing conferences for diplomatic purposes. The orchestrate meetings and conferences. Of course, the meetings are held almost every day. The protocol officers are the ones responsible for orchestrating such meetings. And because they have understanding of international relations, because they have understanding of business relations, they have understanding of ensuring that the atmosphere is conducive for business to thrive, they are the ones who go ahead. So you can ask yourself, how does the United Nations General Assembly meeting hold. Do you know it is the protocol officers that arrange 
those events? Do you know that do you know that the African Union meetings, the ECOWAS meetings, and all of these high-level European Union visits and meetings, the protocol officers are involved? So do you now see also the opportunity you have as a protocol officer to be opportunity to work with international organizations, handling VIPs coming from different countries, orchestrating meetings to enhance diplomatic relations, That is the function of the protocol officer. In fact, the protocol officers are, are always behind the scene. Behind the scene does not make them ineffective. In fact, they are the canvas through which diplomatic and international relations thrive because they go ahead, set the tone for the meeting, bridge all necessary gaps, and ensure that everybody goes home happy, goes home excited, goes home treated with respect, honor, and dignity. They orchestrate meetings. They decide who and who sits next, where the head sits, where the next sits. It's also called sitting arrangements. Protocol officers decide sitting arrangements in those meetings. Why should the president of the United States sit next to the president of Ukraine, Zelensky? Why should the president of Zambia sit next to uh, Ethiopian president? What is the rationale behind the sitting arrangements with uh, meetings, high level meetings that will involve a lot of persons, a lot of high dignitaries? I can see uh, where well, yes, thank you for joining. Let's see your face properly, please. <laughs> Let's see your face, thank you. Where well, yes, joining us from uh, Ivory Coast. It's joining us from Ivory Coast. <laughs> it's good to have you. <laughs> All right. So why, these are the areas protocol officers function. They orchestrate these visits, these meetings. All right. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, they represent the organization or country. Protocol officers represent organizations or countries. All right. So a protocol officer is a high level player because he understands the business of the country. He understands the business of the organization. He can be sent to represent the organization. And that is why protocol officers a man full of value, a man full of sound knowledge of international relations, international politics, diplomacy, and the rest. They understand the systems involved in orchestrating high level meetings. They understand the nuances, the politicking, so to speak, quote unquote, in these meetings. So they can represent an organization they can represent a country. And that is why at some point in your protocol career, if you want to really go far, you can even be appointed as an ambassador of a nation. All right? I've talked about protocol officers ensuring precedence. The protocol officers also travel with the principle. Why do they travel with the principle? They travel because what they do is have advising on correct and proper behaviors during international visits. The protocol officers travel with the principal and the reason for this traveling is to advise on proper behaviors in the foreign land. Protocol officers, one of their functions, one of the things they do is that they research traditions and customs and advised on the appropriate behavior. So before you visit or before your boss or your principal visits a particular country that is different from theirs or a culture, a location where the culture is not the same, the protocol officers have already researched what are the expectations, what are the protocols in this country 
in this setting, in this situation, in this locality. So the protocol officer goes with the principal because he or she is already armed with knowledge about the ways of doing business or the way of conducting meetings in this particular community. He will then, or she will then advise the principal properly in this place, this is how we do. Like we say in the no, uh, local parlance, in fact, it's globally, when you go to Rome, behave like people in Rome. It is the protocol officer that advises the principal. So if I'm coming down to Ethiopia, as an example, I have my friend Abebe and Dinsar and uh, uh, Tabezu who will give me proper advice on the protocols of Ethiopia. So when I come there, I don't misbehave. The misbehaving there is not because I want to misbehave, but because I'm not attuned to the cultural expectations, to the business expectations of Ethiopia. I will not, I, I may eventually end up offending some of you, which is not the best way to go about it, is it not? So the protocol officers travel with the principal to advise on correct behavior. I'll be rounding off very soon. I'll be rounding off very soon. Okay. They also select appropriate gifts. They choose suitable gifts to guests, for guests to foster goodwill. Protocol officers advise in the selection of gifts. Not every gift is acceptable. Not every gift is presentable. Not every gift shows that you honor. So you need to understand the relationship you have with these people or with the persons you are visiting before you give gifts. The protocol officers are sound in gift giving. So for example, I, I, I may not know exactly the kind of gifts uh, people in Ethiopia would want to receive. I may not know the kind of gifts uh, someone from Cote d'Ivoire will want to receive. So the protocol team will then research the most appropriate gifts. In China, for example, in China, for example, as beautiful as it sounds, as interesting as it is, if you present um, a, wrist, a wristwatch, yes, I think, I think it's a wristwatch, uh, or a clock as a gift. It, it is offensive because to them, it means that uh, you are simply telling them that it is the end of their time, that like they're about to die or something. It represents, it means something else to them. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay, another example, if you, if you take a bottle of alcohol uh, just because uh, your country, you are known for producing alcohol, very sweet one, higher standard, uh, global standard. If you take that bottle of alcohol and visit the Saudi prince, for example, and you are saying, I'm presenting this bottle of alcohol, best brewed, international standard, certified by the world bodies. <laughs> and you present it to the prince of, uh, of UAE or Saudi Arabia. Because that gift is not appropriate for the prince, though it's your good intention to give gifts, you have only ended up dishonoring that prince in Saudi Arabia because in that kingdom, they don't, they don't do alcohol. So when they don't do alcohol, why should I be bringing alcohol for you? Because, because uh, uh, I, I am the best producer of alcohol drinks. So protocol officers advise on appropriate gift selection so that they will give their principal or their host or their guest the best gift. So gifts are not just to be given anyhow. And gifts are not to be given from the point of view of me. When I'm giving a gift, it is not because of me. 
it is because of the person I am giving and how the person feels receiving that gift is more important though, than how I feel. So the protocol officers advise on the best and appropriate gift to give. Finally, 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 okay, they greet and escort visitors, welcoming and guiding visitors to and from events rooms or locations. Finally, 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 finally. The role of a protocol officer is a very intense one. You might have to deal with a lot of unplanned things. It is not straight jackets. It is highly demanding. It is highly demanding. It is highly demanding. You might you, you you just have to you have to learn a lot of things. It's highly demanding, right? So if you're ready to go in this journey, just know that you're not coming in for a cruise. You are coming in for a real mental work. And the number one rule for protocol is that prepare for any eventuality. Prepare for any eventuality because not all of the things that we have planned out works out. So when it happens, what do you do? You should be able to be quick to respond to the situation seamlessly to avoid catastrophe. There are many protocol mistakes I will uh, talk, tell us during this session and uh, we'll be glad to learn some of those things and uh, also add to our, our, our knowledge, okay? so. As we run off, I want you to know that the role of a protocol officer is as important as any other department, as any other office in any organization. The protocol officers play a crucial role in ensuring diplomatic events, sports events, every other kind of events run smoothly. They are engaged in meticulous planning and attention to detail and these are vital for the success in the world of diplomacy, in the world of protocol, and anywhere you find yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning, the foundations of protocol. Of course, I will be glad to answer your questions. In case you don't know, my name is Minabai Sebofar, and I am your host and mentor for this uh, protocol mentorship session. I would like to take your questions, comments, and um, any other words you have to say before we run off tonight. Okay, so this is the beginning of it, and this is just the foundation to set the tone for other topics that we will be discussing next week. Okay, I have, I have a good news for us. This program will run for the next one month this program will run for the next one month, right? Because we can't finish everything just this night, okay? So for the next four weeks, so every Wednesday, the same time, so mark your date, every Wednesday, same time, we'll be meeting for the next four weeks. So the next one is going to be in October. The next one is going to be in October. You'll be informed, but mark your date. The four Octobers, uh, the three Octobers in... Um, Three Wednesdays in October, we'll be having this session. That's why we'll run off the, the four weeks uh, uh, mentorship session. So you can be proud that yes, you really gained value. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you so much and God bless you. Comments, questions, and uh, <laughs> let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you. All right, the comments are open right now. Let me hear you. Hello, Minaba. Yes, yes, Lisa. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well, loud and clear. Okay, thank you so much for your presentation. Really, I'm very happy to attend this program. Uh, I try to call your name because it is very uh, difficult for me. Minaba? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, uh, really to... Really, I'm very appreciating for your invitation as well as 
Actually, I received this uh, information through my uh, brother, Mr. Ababe. Thank you so much, you. Because I am the follower of, uh, that means I'm Facebook follower of Ababe. Okay. I received through my friends, Ababe. Thank you so much. So thank you so much. Again, yeah. uh, I learned a lot of things, really, to tell you the truth. I, I didn't consider even for a minute what protocol does or what protocol mean. But I learned it a lot today. Really, I tell protocol, I only consider in terms of wearing clothes. <laughs> Corporate clothes, like taking uh, coats, tie. For me, this is protocol. Okay. But really, <laughs> I received a very uh, important and educative learning today. Okay. Uh, really, thank you so much. I don't want to take your time because we will try to meet the next time as you already uh, informed us. Thank you, all of you. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, more comments, more comments. Let's keep it coming, let's keep it coming, let's keep it coming. Let's keep the comments coming. Let's keep the comments coming. Let's keep the comments coming. We have only a short time. Ashong Jiggy, Kinsley Owona, um, uh, Victor. Victor, you've been uh, on for uh, since the session started. Please comment, comment as we round off. OK. Um, good evening, sir. This is Ashong. Yeah, I, I joined quite late, um, but then I had a few things I would like to ask. Uh, you mentioned that um, the protocol officer should be ready for any kind of eventualities. Yes. Uh, but you, you didn't touch on what we are supposed to do when you find yourself in such a situation where you, you didn't plan for an event or an eventuality. But um, it happens that you are supposed to respond or react. Is it that you are going to touch on it in the subsequent sessions? Or I, I want to ask, but then I want to thank you. Even though I joined late, the few things I had are very insightful. Thank you, sir. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Ashan. Okay, so, um, for want of time, we may not be able to. I may not be able to answer that question. I just want comments so we can all go back to bed because some of our uh, our locations are already now. Okay, right. Okay. Right. We'll, right. We'll, we'll, we'll answer that. You can ask that question in the group, and I'll be glad to give you response. Okay. All right, sir. All right. All right. Um. Uh. Uh. Maybe you want to say something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Minaba, uh, thank you for. Uh... Uh, the presentation, it was uh, a very good presentation. As I say last time, I'm learning a lot from you every time. Uh, really, it's a very uh, educative uh, session. I want to thank you for your commitment. I have seen the challenge of the connectivity. Finally, <laughs> you did it. Uh, yeah. And also, uh, I do appreciate the team waiting for this long to get connected. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you very much. But I have. Uh, some comments. Uh, okay. I don't know how how, you, how can you share us uh, those materials, especially okay. those slides you discussed today, because we didn't okay. get a chance to uh, to see on the screen. So in that case, you may share us on the group, WhatsApp group, or uh, enemies, and maybe email. That okay. way we can read you. That way we can learn a lot, and okay. we can also use it as a reference uh, for. For the sake of time, I don't want to take a lot, but uh, I have some questions, comments. You know, uh, this protocol thing looks like something from the West. So I want to see the African perspective or how can also make it something African, something we can localize. So yes. uh, as we have three weeks ahead, uh, I can also raise the remaining points, but I really appreciate your commitment. Thank you. 
All right, thank thank you very much, Abebe. And that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. You know, uh, it, it's more of the West protocol. It's not like it's more of the West, the, but the West have been able to institutionalize the practice, and it's it is where almost all Africans run to to get protocol. And you know, when you go to the West, you get the Western style of protocol. But then it's good that we learn, so that when we come back home. We can now domesticate the African protocol, having it in line with the customs and traditions of Africa. And that's that's the beautiful thing about uh, this this whole learning process. So we learn, come back home, domesticate, and I, I can assure you, as we begin to go through these weeks, we will begin to see how we can domesticate it because African problems are Africans. European problems are peculiar to Europeans. Ethiopian problems or challenges are peculiar to Ethiopian. So it is now to use this sound background of protocol knowledge to now deal with the issues there in the African way, right? So application is not difficult. It's not even far-fetched. It's something that we can just look at it and then uh, deal with. For uh, Ashyong, for Ashyong uh, every situation is peculiar. Every situation is peculiar. So there's no one size fits all answer to situations and circumstances. There are times you plan events and the car will get stuck. I was I I I I, I led the the the, the logistic delegation of uh, of uh, during a music concert in Nigeria here. Very big music concert, the gospel music concert, and there are big artists that came. There was one we 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 went to a particular location picked down, drive over how many kilometers down to the location. It was at the venue where they were to come for rehearsals to, uh, to do their test run that the vehicle that we used got bad. The brake systems got collapsed. Everything, everything got collapsed. My head was, 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 was scattered. At that point, you now have to think on your feet. You now have to think on your feet as quickly as possible, no matter how short the time is. So what I did was to think quickly because I, I, I couldn't imagine that that is happening. So what I did was to reach out to my team. And that is why protocol work in team. They don't work alone, right? They work in teams, they don't work alone. Immediately I reached out to my team Someone was already going to drop someone, one of the guests in another hotel. And I told that person immediately, sir, immediately you drop that guest. Come to my location immediately. In fact, those in the vehicle didn't really know what was happening. You get, they didn't really know what was happening. So we had to do it quickly. And we called security guys to stay around the vehicle so that they wouldn't even know what is happening. But these are some of the things that happen. It could be in different uh, 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 situations, but your ability to think on your feet quickly and solve the situation is what makes the difference. So plan for every eventuality. All right, one more comment as we, as we run off. One more comment as we run off. Oh, is that okay? Is that, the la is that is, is, is that the much I can take from this session? Adejari, um, uh, Elijah, Kamelin, I want to see, I want to hear you speak. I want to hear you guys speak. Sorry, my pa. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you okay. once again. Good evening. Yes, good evening, Elijah. Uh, so unfortunately, I set to home very late. But okay. a key word I'm taking this evening from just a word you just made mention, which is also a tender in my heart, <laughs> is um protocol we work in teams or we are a team. So yes. I think this deduced the knowledge for me that I should be able to cooperate with the individuals that we are coming together to form and make this thing a reality. Yes. And another comment you also made mention was. It is something that is westernized that we are bringing into our locality. 
to ensure that things are settling well to enable us make no matter what we are facing, we making or we handling it. So this evening, thank you once again. I'm so much delighted and I'm sure with this just these few keywords be waiting. Uh sure, sure. Thank you once again. All right. Thank you very much, Elijah. I would have loved to see your face anyway, but it's okay. And uh, what do we say? What do we say? What do we say? Let me see your, your digital claps. Let me see your digital claps in the comment section. <laughs> if you appreciate this session, let me see your digital claps in the comment section. Uh, and Janet, I would have loved to see your face, but uh, I don't know. Okay, let me see your digital claps. Let me see your digital claps if you appreciate this session. Like I said, uh, uh, this session is going to run for the next uh, four Wednesdays. So it rem it's remaining three Wednesdays and it's free. I'm doing this because I want to uh, see where, I want to see how protocol practitioners globally can get empowered, right? And get knowledge with global best practice. You see, we are in a group, uh, we, are in a, we are in a world where, where we connect every now and then. So it is great that we understand the culture of the West and the culture of the East and the culture of the global South. It is good we know because business would, would take us to these places. Is it when we get to the business places that we will not now know what to do? So it is great that we learn different perspectives and so that when others are coming to Africa, we can also tell them as protocol professionals in Africa, this is how things are done. And you can stand on your feet, confident, strong, sound, knowing that you have sound knowledge of protocol and somebody will not come and impose any other thing on you. But you say, this is how we do things in Africa. And if you want us to succeed in business, this is how we do it. Right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. I really appreciate Abebe. I really appreciate uh, Dinsa Rigasa. I really appreciate Victor. I really appreciate Guayas. Please, I want you to come up and say something. Please, I want you to come up and say something. He's a, uh, Guayas is, is, is a very great colleague of mine. We've attended a number of conferences together, especially in the International Center for Protocol and Diplomacy. Guayas, please go ahead and say one or two words. Please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I'm waiting for you. I'll, I'll mute your mic and, and just say one or two. Oh. Uh, can you hear me? Where is? Okay, it seems that we can't hear. Uh, we can hear him, but all the same, thank you so much. Thank you, Kingsley Onowa. Thank you, Etabezu Nemera. <laughs> and thank you, Carl Kamelin. And please, when this session is done, go ahead and um, make comments in the group so that other persons can know that truly this session took place and say what you learned. Let's, let's also take screenshots of, of, of this session and spread on our social media platforms and just spread the good news. Just spread it, spread it, spread it. If you're not my friend on Facebook, send me a friend request uh, and I will be glad to accept your friend request. If you're not my friend on LinkedIn, you can also go ahead and send me a connection request. Let's connect, all right? Let's connect. Thank you so much. God bless you and do have a lovely night. Do have a lovely evening and do have a lovely morning. Until I see you next Wednesday, tell them, next Wednesday we are meeting same time. Good night and God bless you. <laughs> good night too, bye. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Good Thank night. you very much. Thank you. Night, Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, Abi. Yes. Hello, no. Yes. Thank you, Salam. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
You want to say something? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Thank go ahead. Thank you very much for this session. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you and so see much. You, uh, you. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Well, we can we can begin to leave or you want to have uh, some uh, a little bit tete a tete. <laughs> okay, so um uh, uh this uh, thank you so much and uh, my very good friend Abebe, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate how you, you rallied around your friends and colleagues to join this session. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless thank you. you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? Is that your cat? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let me allow you guys go. All right. We'll thank see you on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Good night.